we have to organize ourselves from a, a technical military point of view by grouping all the Lebanese forces who have to fight for one goal and one aim and later on or simultaneously we have also to set up a structured Lebanese front where the whole command for our area will be concentrated in the hands of the people who are really responsible of our future and our survival in this part of the world. And who are those people? Well, the people forming the Lebanese front, the Lebanese forces. In one word, all the people who have dealt until now in the Lebanese resistance, because we still have a long, long way to go, and we cannot afford continuing our struggle in the chaos in which we were living until now. The real signification of uh, the, what happened on July the 7th was precisely to put an end to the stupid bloodshed and to the disorganization we were facing inside our area. Who will be the head of the Lebanese Front? It's President Shamoun, definitely. Definitely. Now, um, have you spoken to President Shamoun since the 7th and has yes, he agreed sure. and he has agreed to continue? Yes, sure, and uh, you may ask him the question, but uh, yesterday also the Lebanese Front met and all the leaders of this Lebanese Front once again have stressed on the point that nothing can, besides all the difficulties all of us are facing, mm -hmm. nothing will put an end to our uh, entente and to our cohesion altogether. Mm -hmm. For mobilization of the Palestinian forces. Do you see this as a threat either to your own organization or on a larger scale to Lebanon? Uh, first of all concerning the uh, mobilization, we must say that this is not the first time they are mobilizing their forces. Every time they see an Israeli plane or ship in the sea, it's automatically the mobilization. And the word of mobilization for the Palestinians is becoming something very, very common. Mm. Number two, as far as the threat is concerned against our group, we are not threatened at all by that. And we understand the bad mood of the refugee Arafat in Lebanon. We understand that he was out of his mind when we have decided to unite our forces. The threat is not against our group and definitely there is a threat as long as the Palestinian refugees will remain in Lebanon in the way they are. Mm. Concerning the situation in Zahle, I guess that what the Syrians are trying to do is uh, to break any Christian resistance in, in Zahle in order to annex this very, very important city in the Bekaa Valley and later on to annex it to the Syrian uh, country. As far as we are concerned, we will not let the resistance broke down and we will defend Sahleh exactly as we defended Ashrafi in 78 or any other Christian, uh, Christian town in Lebanon.
Okay. okay. We have uh, we presented a complaint to the United Nations and to the Sec uh, Security Council against what the Syrians have been doing now in uh, Zahle and in the Bekaa. We hope that the international public opinion will start understanding that what the Christians in Lebanon are suffering from in Lebanon is a Syrian occupation and a Palestinian occupation of their soil, their sovereignty and their independence.